before I had the surgery, um, I had no motor activity below my injury at all. Okay, yeah, let's go up. My experience here has been life-changing. I first stood on day three of turning the stimulator on. Being able to stand, you know, it makes me feel normal again. Just the connection, like, go down through my leg and my leg just pulled up. It was overwhelming. So I've gotten a lot of function back, including my hands. I've gotten back the ability to stand, move my toes, ankles, knees, hips, all on command. We place an epidural stimulator in the lower spinal cord. And when we stimulate, we're able to activate the neural networks of the spinal cord so we can use it to get uh, people to move who are completely paralyzed and when the stimulator is off, aren't able to move. The big idea is a unique example of a study um, based on, on solid science uh, culminating over the last 30 years into a front-runner study. We saw this in four individuals, the first four, and so our next step is to go to a larger cohort of patients to see how generalizable these findings are in people with spinal cord injury. It worked, and it was just, it was nuts. The Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Wings for Life we share a lot of the same researchers, we certainly share the same mission, and we believe that together we can help mobilize uh, people to support this research and get us there quicker. The Wings for Life Foundation and the Christopher and Dana Reed Foundation joining forces is incredible and it's going to move this forward at a much faster pace. Funds from the Wings for Life Roadrun will basically enable uh, to go to the next phase of this clinical trial. The next steps are to uh, implant a larger cohort of people and we look forward to that happening uh, in 2015. This is going to help the millions of others in the world with paralysis and, and spinal cord injuries. You know, something like this can change the world.